I wanted to show off some progress that I've made on my Minecraft World Viewer. The viewer now streams geometry data from a server. The server is running PHP scripts that open the Minecraft save files, interpret them, and return JSON responses, one per chunk. The viewer itself uses a web worker to issue those requests. The web worker, for every chunk that it needs, opens an XML HTTP request, an asynchronous XML HTTP request, and when it gets its response, it parses the JSON, uh, generates the world geometry, and then passes up to the main JavaScript. This works reasonably well. You can see that I've still got some problems, like the geometry here in this area isn't being computed. Uh, there's a good reason for that. I need to figure out a good scheme for getting rid of redundant geometry between chunks, which is a little interesting, but not insurmountable. I had originally started working on this using Chrome as my intended target, uh, but unfortunately I had to switch. Uh, I switched to Firefox 4. One thing that's interesting is that Firefox 4 just seems faster at WebGL than Chrome does, which surprised me. I would have figured that Google would have had that working perfectly at this point. Uh, but it wasn't really anything huge. It was just a minor improvement. The real thing that killed it for me was Chrome support for web workers. Now, this could be wrong, but at least my experience is that if I have multiple asynchronous XML HTTP requests outstanding in a single web worker in Chrome, only one will ever come back, and that's a problem. I had worked around it by simply making all of my requests synchronous, and that worked fine. But it was a little slower, of course, because the requests have to be handled one at a time in the order that they come in. Uh, switching to Firefox just worked fine, though. Firefox seems to have no problem with multiple asynchronous XML HTTP requests in a web worker. So that's great, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this. It needs a lot more work, but it's coming along. Thanks for watching.